Hey guys, Zach Butler here with I Teach Lexus and Peterson Lexus, ready to teach you how to work your 2015 Lexus ES350. What we're going to cover right now is your remote touch toggle operation, your gear shift, your mode control, and also a few other features. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started on this. So first off, let's talk about your transmission. It's a gated shifter, which means all you have to do is put your foot on the brake to put the vehicle into gear. When you throw it in reverse, you'll see your backup camera and your side mirrors will dip down so you can see the curbs easier. Your gear indicator will always be between your tachometer and speedometer in green. So you'll see when you're in reverse, neutral, and drive. Most of the time you'll do your driving in regular automatic drive. There are times, however, when you're going to move the gear shift to the left to the sport drive. That's where you'll see lit up between your speedometer and your tachometer an S and the gear you're in. Pushing up, it resets back for an upshift, pushing down for a downshift. This allows you to control it much like a manual gearbox. There's going to be lots of situations where you'll want to use that either for more high spirited driving or if you're driving in the mountains and you want to downshift and let the engine compression do your braking. So a gated shifter, really easy to use, simple operation. Now directly in front of the gear shift is our mode switch. This changes how the vehicle reacts within the transmission and the accelerator to your driving style. So we have an eco mode, a normal mode, and a sport mode. If you twist the silver knob to the left, it goes into eco mode. Below your gear indicator, you'll see what you're in. It'll say eco mode. If you twist it to the right, it's going to go into sport mode. Now, when you make that twisting action, it always resets back. So you just twist it and let it go. Looking between your tachometer and speedometer to see what mode you're in. Eco mode really changes the relationship between your accelerator and your throttle. Uh, it, it slows the timing down to really maximize fuel efficiency. Your gas mileage will go through the roof when you're in eco mode. Normal mode, if you push straight down, like it says push normal, will be the most normal driving. Good acceleration, really, really good response time, but not over the top, and a little bit less gas mileage. Sport mode really tightens that relationship between your accelerator and throttle and gives you high, high shift points, higher RPMs, great acceleration. The car just flies. It's a kick in the pants when you go into sport mode, but don't expect the best gas mileage. This switch here is designed to turn off traction control. In the event that you're stuck in deep snow, uh, you run into any issues like that, hitting this switch will turn off your traction control, which will be paramount in the event that you're stuck. I would leave that on all the time otherwise. When you hit that switch, same place between your tachometer and speedometer is where you'll see the readout that says track off. So make sure you look for that when you're playing with this button and hit it. It's very apparent you can't miss it. Up here we have wonderful feature, ventilation throughout the seats and the seat back with different temperature settings or intensity settings for the ventilation. Heated seats, different temperature settings. These are on a Rio stat, so you can moderate that temperature reading. Driver and passenger. And then one of my favorite features for the Idaho winters is a heated steering wheel. It heats up the sides of the steering wheel and does an awesome job. Can't forget your cup holder, of course. These are great. And then lastly, we've got our remote touch toggle that does all of your operation for your navigation system multimedia interface. Get into the habit of using the menu switch. Menu takes you to your main screen. The home button takes you back home for a trip computer, compass, and navigation. Remember the arrow up, arrow down. Utilizing that is important because you'll be able to scroll through operations, zoom in, zoom out on your nav screen. And then lastly, this toggle works very akin to a mouse. It just slides around to wherever you want to go, and then you press down for your selection. Please play with this. You're not going to hurt it. The faster you become accustomed to it, the better off you'll be. So that's some basic operations. We'll dive into more basic operations on the next video. This is Zach Butler with I Teach Lexus and Peterson Lexus. Hope you guys have a great day.